Ah, fuck. So, got this out today because we are checking where the bit is finished. Let's have a look where she's. Uh, oh. Oh. He's nice and toasty, fucking hell. She's nice and toasty. It's, what is it in here? You see up there, it's about one degree. But in here, it's, uh, I might take this out and climb in for a bit. Let's drag this out. Give it a reading. See where she's finished. Clear all this shite off of here. This is the first time I've seen it. Since it went in. Come on. Let's crack her open then. See what we've got. Oh. See if I can chuck in a side by side comparison after fermentation from the uh, from the first time we brewed it. Oh, chuck a bit on the floor. So there she is, fellas. That's her uh, straight out of straight out of the fermenter after fermentation. So I'll bang in a picture. We'll see how close we are to the uh, to the actual colour. This thus far, she's smelling exactly like she was, which is good. All right, let's crash her. Let's get her down. And this is all I'll do to clear it. And this is all I do with any of them, just to clear it. So. Ferments in primary, finishes, no racking into secondary, just just crash ya. Just crash ya bud. Crash ya, let it all drop out. And it'll be as clear as a bell going into that keg. Right. Next step. Get some on this thing. Get her on the old uh, Refract a tometer. So we are at seven bricks. Let's run that through beer smith now and I'll put it on the screen to allow for alcohol in solution. Radio fellas, you know before I do. You friggin' know before I do. It tastes raw. It tastes very raw in its raw form. But that bitterness is coming through, and it tastes at this point pretty much how I remember it tasting straight out of the fermenter. It's quite bready on the back end, nice and biscuity. Obviously, that yeast is it's giving a bit of a flavour profile to it at the minute. That'll all disappear in the crash chilling. It tastes like a bitter. So I'm freaking happy about that. Right, let's move on to the next section of this video because we're moving into water treatments. Friggin' rights. Remember when we went uh, to Idle Valley and brewed up the Norseman when Tony Yates came? I took a sample of the water and he brought his uh, kit that analyzes the water and these are parts per million of everything that's in my water on the uh, day of him doing it. Now obviously I haven't got a kit here so ideally if I get the kit, I'm going to be trying it like every six months, something like that, just to make sure they haven't altered the water coming into the house. But it um, gives you the total alkalinity, um, the calcium, magnesium, chloride, sulfate, um, residual alkalinity and sodium uh, parts per million. And I inputted them into Beersmith to give me my water profile. And then with that water profile, because we were, we were, I was chatting to Harry while I was doing it, and I was, I was then using that water profile against this bitter uh, recipe. So once you've got your water profile in Beersmith, you then can look through the water profiles that are already on Beersmith from around the world. So there's like Burton on Trent. If you want to Burtonize your waters for like pales, IPAs, um, there's a Dublin water profile. Uh, a London water profile and the list goes on and on and on. So effectively 
when you want to match a water profile for a, a style of beer you're doing so uh, the next beer that I'm doing is going to be an, another IPA so I would go to the list of water profiles and Burton on Trent is for hoppy pails and IPAs uh, etc. If you go on the um, if you go on the list and hover your little mouse over them a little drop down bar comes where it gives you a description um, for each water profile so you, you go down the list and you find which one is going to be um, suitable for the style of beer you're doing. So when we were running through them for the bitter the closest water profile that made sense was the um, London water profile and when I did all that for the bitter recipe the additions that I had to add for the salts were very very minimal they were like uh, 0.3 grams of this and 0.2 grams of that so it's looking like the water profile that we have uh, coming into the house coming to the brewery here is very very close to um, the London water profile which is already on Beersmith which is best suited for uh, milds and um, bitters etc so that means to me that if I was uh, brewing bitters here against IPAs I'd be better off brewing the bitter over the IPA without adding any salt additions if that makes sense so what did we get then what did we get so we picked up one of these friggers. Oh, look at that. Just one of these friggers. Huh? Huh? Friggity, I'm sure some of you may have seen one of these before. Eh? Before you know a certain, a certain product. So we've got that. And onto the salt additions. So I went to, went to Brew UK for these. Uh, everything came from Brew UK for the salt additions. So we've got sodium carbonate, calcium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, calcium chloride and some chalk. So the next journey here for me is going to be playing around with the salt additions and um, seeing if we can really boost the quality of beers that are coming out because at the minute all I've known from here brewing here is bitters, IPAs, pails without uh, camp water profiling adjustments. You know what it's like if you tried it without then you think that what you're doing is friggin bang on. I'm sure once the salt additions start going in we're gonna see a big difference. So I'm looking forward to it and of course I'll bring you along for the ride that's friggin' it, fellas. That's friggin' it for now. <laughs> I'm gonna get this keg washed, ready for the bitter tomorrow. So that's it, fellas. That is it for another video. Stay tuned, because I've got some more coming up. I'm gonna shoot them now. Uh, I've got another Q&A that's coming up, um, and some other videos. Friggin' right, so that, let's crack on. So as always, fellas, don't forget to thumb this video, because you know what I do. Don't forget to subscribe, so a little red button down here that says subscribe. Click it, you want to see how it's coming up next. Share the video, get it out there for all to see, and until next time, Come on here.